Once again, you guessed it with no brushes, of course. An eyeshadow primer, definitely not. Mm -mm, don't need that. In today's video, I'm going to be recreating how I did my makeup in high school. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Hannah and I upload beauty videos every Monday and Friday. So feel free to stick around and subscribe. I was in high school from 2009 to 2012 and I used all drugstore makeup. No shade on drugstore makeup. Drugstore makeup is actually can be really good, but my technique, not so much. Back then, I did not really use many makeup brushes. I remember specifically, I definitely did not use a makeup brush to apply my foundation. Personally, I do not like applying my foundation with my fingers, but that's what I'm gonna do because we are recreating how I did my makeup in high school. Also, my, my hair, as you can tell, is pretty straight naturally. I blow dried it, I washed it and blow dried it today, but I did not straighten it. And I wanted to keep on theme with the fact that I did not straighten my hair in high school. I actually, whenever I did want to straighten my hair, I used a curling iron to straighten it, the one with the clamp, and I just put my hair through it and straightened it that way. And I don't think I used heat protectant either. I've come a long way since then. I'm not using all drugstore products in this video, but I am going to be trying to do the same technique. So for example, obviously, I did not use Urban Decay in high school. And actually, I wasn't this tan either. If you think that this is tan, the answer is yes, my friends, this is tan for me. But I applied self-tanner, so we're just, we're just gonna go with it. I am going to be using my fingers to apply my foundation. So I found my diary from high school. Well, actually, this was from eighth grade. And I was kind of trying like to figure out how I wanted to incorporate that into, I might, I think I might like read a journal entry. But you guys, I was not expecting that. Like I was dying laughing and I had way more journal entries than I thought that I did. I totally forgot that I had this. Also, I did not blend my foundation down to my neck. So I'm just gonna, I do my makeup very differently now and basically completely different, completely the opposite of how I used to do it in high school. But we're gonna go with theme and we're just gonna use my fingers and not blend it down to my neck. Oh, also, I did already moisturize my skin, but I did not use primer back then, so not going in with primer first either. I don't think that I used concealer underneath my eyes, so we're not going to do that. What I did use concealer for was to cover up blemishes. I was looking back at pictures to kind of like, you know, come up with a theme of how I, you know, wanted to do my, or not theme, but like just kind of to refresh my memory too of how I used to do my makeup. And it looked very natural back then, but from what I can remember, I feel like I wore more makeup than most of the people at that time. And I feel like a lot of that was because I was very insecure because I had really bad skin. So I was trying to cover up my acne. Yeah, I don't know, high school, I'm just, Glad that time is behind me. This actually did a pretty good job just using my fingers and evening out my skin. But no under eye concealer. We're just gonna go right in and set my face. And I think that this is this is one of the few brushes that I did use. This is from Eco Tools. No shade on Eco Eco Tools, but I just prefer my Sigma one that I use now. Also, once again, I did not use Urban Decay back then, but it's just the powder that we have for today. I did still set my face, I'm pretty sure, because I did know that I had oily skin. I was aware of the situation. Contour, did not do that. Highlight, did not do that, but I did do blush, and I feel like, from what I can remember, I did it incorrectly, so I'm just gonna, we're just gonna go in with blush. Now, I have this NYX blush that's broken. I gave this to my mom. It wasn't broken at the time that I gave this to her. I'm gonna try to not make a mess, but I want to try to use this blush because I feel like this is one of the blushes that I would use back in the day, and this is the same brush. If this doesn't work, I have a different blush in a similar shade to use. So just gotta smile and just apply all of the blush. Also recently, my best friend was very nostalgic for when I was turning 25. And she brought up some pictures, like, I don't know how old we were, 13 or 14, and we did our makeup then. I might insert pictures from whenever I was in high school, but I don't know if I'm gonna insert any of those because it's like real cringy. I just, I'm so used to contouring now that I don't like 
not having that contour. I'm used to it. So yeah, my makeup looked pretty natural considering, you know, back in the day. Now, I don't think that this is the best blush application, but I'm doing this on purpose because I'm pretty sure this is how I did it in, in high school. <clears throat> I now have, I think this is my first, very first eyeshadow palette. And I actually kind of discovered this whenever I went through my video going through makeup that I've had since high school, which I will link for you guys. It's a great time over there. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely going to be using this eyeshadow palette. Once again, you guessed it with no brushes, of course. And eyeshadow primer, definitely not. Mm -mm, don't need that. Also, this kind of, because this is like close to my eyebrows, um, I did not do my eyebrows then. I actually just recently started doing my eyebrows as in like, I've gotten them waxed even whenever I was in high school. I would still get them waxed every now and then, but I would not fill them in or anything like that. The only thing that I would do would be to tweeze them. And I remember specifically tweezing my eyebrows one time whenever my brother was driving us to school. He's a year older than me. So, you know, we attended the same high school, of course, that kind of thing. So he was driving us to school and he had a manual transmission truck. And I remember tweezing my eyebrows while he was driving and literally like removing a chunk of my skin. I, th I think it was my right eyebrow. I can't completely remember, but I learned my lesson. Um, would not re recommend tweezing your eyebrows while someone else was driving. Yeah, that was not that was not a fun experience. I think I, re I remember like kind of doing my eyeshadow. I feel like whenever he was driving as well, and I definitely was not gonna was not about to bring brushes. So I'm going to do the best that I can remember. I really can't remember how I would apply this. Maybe like this one all over the lid. Clearly, I used these two shades the most, and then this one fell out. That's why it's not there anymore. Wait, I just I just went in with this color, even though I said that I was gonna do this color. I can't remember, but we're just gonna put this all over my lid. Oh, this is actually pretty. Oh, also this is CoverGirl. Oh, I meant to mention earlier that a lot of my makeup back then was CoverGirl, just because that's what my mom had. She um, is not as into makeup as I was, so I did most of my learning about makeup on YouTube. Very glad that I didn't have a YouTube channel back then though, based on my diary entry that we're gonna get into here in a second. We're gonna call that good, and then maybe I like went in with this matte shade kind of on my outer corner. I mean, I don't even really see how you're gonna be able to tell the difference, but we're gonna do it. We're gonna try, I mean, can, mm, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Also, just excuse, this is self tanner. I, I apologize, I'm still working on it. I'm still, still working on it. Yeah, looks, looks great, looks great. We are almost done. And then we're gonna get to the journal entry. I think, I'm just gonna go ahead and curl my lashes because I can't remember if I did or not. But we're gonna say I did. The mascara I have to use is from Lancome and I know I did not have Lancome mascara back then, but I'm only gonna apply like one coat because I remember my eyelashes. Like my makeup overall was pretty natural looking. So my eyelashes were not as voluminous as they are, like as I like to try to make them today. Oh, I meant to bring my eyeliner in here. I did wear eyeliner in high school. I've already gone in with mascara. I don't feel like trying to do eyeliner because I mean, even I knew back then that it was better to apply your eyeliner than your mascara. And we're gonna go in with some chapstick because I didn't really do like use lip products back then other than chapstick. Now, occasionally I would use a lip gloss like this. This is actually from an Ipsy bag. The one that I used in high school was from NYX, but I'm not going to apply lip gloss because seriously, for the most part, I didn't apply lip products. This was a trend doing my makeup like I did in high school a few years ago, but I just kind of wanted to bring it back. Hey, this is Hannah from the future. Really quick, before I get into reading my diary entries, I failed to mention another quality factor about this whole little situation. This is my diary and on, you know, I was a little deceptive because, um, you know, clearly people couldn't know this was my diary because on the front I have homework and I even put like, you know, this is gonna be for history. Now, I think originally I did intend this to be for my homework, but then I just ended up making it my diary. 
But yeah, I just, I still left the homework label on there though. Okay, now what you've all been waiting for, let's get into the diary entries. For example, dear, oh, also just for context, context, I was 13 at the time. This was the year before I went to high school. Dear diary, April Fools, haha, <laughs> just kidding. Anywho, about eight and a half weeks till camp in parentheses, 58 days, tomorrow to be exact. I had to think of what names I wanna call them because obviously I mentioned their specific name in their diary entry and I ain't about to bring that up on YouTube. So we are going to call the, the guy Bob and then the girl we are going to call her Becca. This particular year I had a huge crush on Bob. Like I mentioned him in several several diary entries and I was like real heartbroken about it but this one specifically made me laugh I mean they all made me laugh but does Bob like Becca or doesn't he I mean it's a yes or no answer dude not that hard I'm not totally sure if I like him or not though he his brother anyway so he had a brother blah 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 but his brother was out of my league and then I go on to talking about camp Oh, this, this is, this is, this is the quality entry. Okay. I don't know any other way to say it. So I'll just say it. Bob asked Becca out. It almost brings tears to my eyes to just write it, but I misspelled right. I'm spelled right. R-I-G-H-T. Like, honestly, I should have known better. I think I was just like, I was just, uh, anyway, I've liked him for like five months now. Talk about a huge waste of time. And then I just, I seriously like write about this for a lot like I don't even want to get into all of it because it's so cringy I think maybe I'll have a separate video in the future where I read more of my diary entries let me know if you would like to see that by giving this video a thumbs up I'll know that way and then we'll, we'll see we'll see <laughs> if you want to see another video where I walk down memory lane click the video right over here I show you makeup that I've had since high school just to kind of really just go with the whole theme of high school Hannah if you found this video amusing or enjoyable, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help me out. Also, feel free to stick around and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it personally. Uh, once again, I upload beauty videos every Monday and Friday. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you in my next video.